Hello friends, it is Saturday and we are spending the day in Anchorage today, which we don't often do. We are starting out at the Anchorage Market. This market used to be downtown when I was a kid and it was a huge event. They have now moved it to South Anchorage in the Diamond Center parking lot. This is our mall behind me, our Diamond Center mall. Um, I haven't been here in years. We are meeting some of Mark's family here today. And so we're gonna see what kind of booths they have. All right, first we have Todd Salad Shots. Ooh, Aurora art. So cool. Well, you know, if you're trying to accent your room, these are like, really this is so nice cool. Ones. These different pictures here, these like, are really, nice really ones. cool looking. Oh, that, 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 really cool yeah, that, 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 Okay, I want one with more like Yeah, but usually you want them to like... I want, I want one with a forever sticker. Because you... Mom, Dad needs this. Love to fly. We're gonna, we're gonna to put that. So this market is open mid-May through mid-September. So this stuff is authentic native handicrafts. And it's l &M ivory. Lulu knives made out of caribou antlers. Lulu knives are a traditional knife used for filleting salmon and chopping. These ones are made out of moose antlers. Okay, we've got Alaska gold nugget jewelry. We've got lots of Alaskan polished gems. This, yeah, yeah, this is called an ammonite. It's this conical shell. Really cool. Remember, I don't even remember we found one of these at Sylvia, cool. but it was Garnet. up in a cliff, up high, and where we couldn't go. Put it back. Island. Wait, oh, look at that. that. Would you have you grabbed it? I was just seeing how it deep in the snow. These are hard to get out. Well, you can. There's places where you can find them, and they're they're more accessible, like in the Tuckeetna Mountains. It's a football. It's a wood. Tigers. This is Tiger's Eye. Uh -huh. That would have a like... design on it. Very cool. Oh, we got some Denali fur. It doesn't work. It needs to go over your ears, right? Oh, I can't see anything. This is cross fox, this is arctic fox, fox. Sheer deer, they're probably on the inside. Dad, this is lynx. Dad, that's lynx. Oh, and you can move them. They, you can make them different sizes. Dad, look at mom. Ooh, wow. Alaska lynx. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's very so soft. Warm. Yeah, so you just you... touch it and there's like nothing yeah. there. What? Well, I'm helping your brother here. Nope. Yeah. I felt Ow. Yeah. So the gentleman here does not trap any of these animals. He purchases the furs and then turns it into that stuff. Hello! This is our boy's favorite. The lo big licorice. These are from Spain. I lived in Spain for two years. Okay, this is Alaska Lilo's Ornament Company made with Alaska native clay. So they get clay from, you said the river bank? Or is Actually, it the, the Cook Inlet. Cook Inlet. So like, yeah. Oh, okay. From So from out in the Cook Inlet, and they fire them, and then the iron comes out. So each one of them is unique. So they're like ceramic. First, from far away, I thought they were painted, but they're like made from Alaskan clay. That's amazing. And then little hand-painted designs. A decal. Okay. Yep, the lady's uh, father is the artist. Very cool. This would be a great keepsake from your trip to Alaska. I like the Denali. Yeah. Very cool. I'm going to bounce over to my booth. Okay. So I just want to say Thank hi. you. But if you do need I will let you know. Thank you. Yeah, these are beautiful. Little sea otters. <laughs> 
it. We got a little farm stand with fresh eggs and homemade pickles. Sweet pickles, dill pickles, pickled garlic, Are you my garlic baby? dill. Wow. Um, you might be interesting to me. Very cool. The uh, broccoli are <coughs> three dollars a pound, the beans eight dollars cool. a pound, zucchini uh, <coughs> ten for a big one or two bucks a pound for a small. Yeah, they look great. Oh, what did it see? Freeze dried Charleston shoes. Oh, I haven't tried Charleston shoes yet. And then freeze dried Skittles. Over here, you can get a massage. Ten dollars, a dollar a minute. Okay, we're gonna see these fire starters. Okay, so the black part on the top, that's the flint, that's what gets you your spark. The silver part's magnesium, they're all on antler handles, so anything that falls off during the winter. And to get a fire going most of the time, you just need a couple sparks for your flint, and you got a fire. Wow, so it's a nice, gorgeous. hot, sparking flint, made of 15 different alloy metals, so you don't have to sit there and build up the smoke like you do with them. Now, if you can't get a fire going with just the flint, that's where the magnesium comes in. You get some magnesium shavings on top of whatever it is you're trying to start. Some grass, leaves, twigs, bark. You're going to build your fire the same. You just have to have something that's going to catch on fire. But magnesium will burn wet or dry. So when you get a spark to that, that will burn 5,400 degrees, which is white hot, and that will help start just about anything. What is it? Wow. Wow. Cool. That's cool. And they all come with a tie-on scraper and it's got instructions on the back, so if you gave it as a gift, they'd know what it is and how to use it. Wow. It's like to find something like that. See, all this other stuff is really boring. Ain't nobody will find it. And a mama and baby whale. And like that. And yeah, one. I like these a lot. And a total. One these are kind of fun. You put them on top of your mug to keep the it hot longer. Oh, look at this fat little halibut. That was I like that. That is so much detail. It is so much detail. I love it. Alaska Spice Co. That's your company, Alaska Spice Co. Yes, we got we got loose leaf teas. teas. We got dips. We got hot spices, right. dry rubs, and one of the best sellers in the store. Tell me the about Alaska it. salmon dip mix. Ooh. Everybody buys that. That's so good. It's international now. Mix. What do you mix with it? Sour cream, mayonnaise, and a little touch of green, um, cream cheese if you if you like the mm. cheese. But that's a good product. And then we have a new one here, something they call Zesty Complete. Oh wow, that looks good. Any kind of seafood. Oh, to like good. batter it. Yeah. Pepper and pineapple. Can I try? Can I try? Yeah. Take a chip. Okay. Oh, here's the chef. Will you hold that chip for you? On baby duty. <laughs> Hi Henry. Baby, How are you today, baby. Henry? Oh, oh yes, my, the camera. You love the camera, huh? You and I, we're gonna share this. Okay. Oh, okay. the camera. I think it's weird. Okay. Okay. I want you to try Here, wait. It. I want to see what your reaction is. Eat the chip too. It's just tasty. Yeah. I want you to try this too. It's sweet, but it, it definitely kicks. Watch out, Everett. What is this one? Which is one? Oh, that's sweet. Wait, are you allowed? It's a little heat. It's a deal. Dip. I think it's more like a dip yeah, sauce rather than a hot sauce. I think I should make a nice skip with a can of salmon. You can, you can I'm sure it would. Maybe, maybe we should try it ourselves. Yeah, I want to. You can tank me afterwards. Yeah, both sides. You got some water somewhere? Nope. Okay, wait. Here, I'll try it. You gonna try a little bit? Bite half that? Try down on zesty cup. You live a last time. 
How are you doing, Hunter? Oh, it's not bad. Guys, I'm doing something in September. Oh, I'm not bad. I did end up buying several spice packets from the Alaska Spice Company. And then we found a booth called the Motley Crew Bakery. It's a nonprofit that is associated with Beans Cafe. Beans Cafe is our local food service dedicated to fighting hunger for all ages in Anchorage. They provide food for the homeless and hungry in our community. They also have this Motley Crew Bakery that teaches people baking skills and helps them get jobs in the baking industry. The baked goods all looked amazing, so we bought several things of rolls and different goodies to snack on. I have never seen this organization before and was really impressed by their message and meeting all the people working there and learning these new skills. And the baked goods we bought were all amazing, so it was a good purchase for our family. Charlie bought himself a cake. This is my one. It's good. That looks good. That looks like a single serving cake. You guys should help Charlie eat it. I don't get how you gotta find yourself a small one if you want some. Apple crumble. Apple crumble cake. Okay, let's take a walk down and see what food they have here today. Lemonade shake up. Yum. Fresh squeezed lemonade. El Mariachi street tacos. Those look delicious. Korean Brothers Huli Barbecue. Oh, I love it. Oh, pork what? ribs, chicken. Yum. Can I video that? Is that pork? Ooh, that looks so good. What is that? Pork ribs. Pork ribs. Okay, we've got some wilderness espresso and ice cream. Coffee and ice cream. Idris Takita. You like taquitos, huh? You have me buy my water. car. Oh, we have water in the car. Cookies and cream. Nice. Little dessert cup. Wait, actually, these are. We got peppercorn. The fair staple. And then here's our Alaskan halibut salmon and reindeer. Okay, so we got breakfast burritos, halibut burritos, salmon tacos, reindeer tacos. Okay, we finished up at the Anchorage Market. We have now made our way downtown to the Anchorage Museum. Hi, Phoebe. Hello. Hi, Jane. Oh, yeah. That Anchorage Market seemed a little bit small today. There were a lot of empty booths. The Alaska State Fair is about eight days away. So I think some of the bigger booths are at the fair getting ready and can't be in two places at once <laughs> but maybe it's always that way I don't know I hadn't been in years we also did pass a farmers market we weren't able to stop but we did pass a farmers market that looked hopping and that looked like it was just all veggies and things like that so that this Muse restaurant is very good inside of the Anchorage Museum. It's a bistro. Okay, get your energy out before we go to the museum. What? Ready? On your mark, get set, go! Phoenix, the winner! Second place! Third place! Because I have regular shoe! I have boots! Don't get me into this. Let's take a quick tour of some of the highlights of the Anchorage Museum. Of course, with all these kids in tow, we started out in the Discovery Center. This is the hands-on portion of the museum for children. A lot of it is in Alaska related, things like volcanoes and earthquakes and seismic activity and topography. It also focuses on Alaska animals and it's just a fun place for kids to come and learn a few things but also get to touch a lot of stuff and learn a little bit about Alaska. 
Alaska winters are long and I remember bringing my kids here when they were little. This little kinetic ball machine that we're doing here has been here since I brought Hunter as a baby. They move it around. Very few things look like they looked when Hunter was a baby. They're constantly changing things so that it's new and fun for kids. Um, but hands-on, learning about science, learning about Alaska. We had a really good time checking out the Discovery Center at the Anchorage Museum. The museum also has a planetarium with shows going at different times throughout the day that did cost extra. In the main atrium, there's always a different exhibit. Right now, it is celebrating the Alaska Railroad Centennial. Next up, I checked out the Alaska Biennial Art Exhibit. These are Alaskan paintings from people that live across the state of Alaska, contemporary paintings, really anything that inspired them from everyday life to um, fishing, scenery. Uh, there's this cool, beautiful quilt of the city of Anchorage, um, sculptures that were fun to walk around and represented life in Alaska. So there was just a lot to look at in here and so many different ideas and representations of people's life in Alaska. Now this exhibit changes, so this was really fun to see all this new stuff in here. Next, we headed upstairs in the museum, and this is a more permanent fixture up here. Yes, it does change at times, but this has been up here for quite a while, and this is more traditional art of Alaska, plus some more contemporary pieces, like these really fun polar bears made out of brightly colored feathered boas. They were really fun to see. Um, and then as you see, as we go through here, there's some more like modern art, but also a lot of traditional paintings of Alaska landscapes and the native people, the native traditions, and the animals that inhabit the state and its history. Just a lot to look at, beautiful artwork representing our state. Lastly, we have another Alaska exhibit, and this one's called The Land of Great Contrast. So this exhibit takes us from the Alaskan Native people all the way up through modern times. Alaska is a very unique state. We have a rich history in our Native culture. So we start there with their Native boats and transportation. We move through some of their traditional tools that they used as native people before a uh, white man came and brought all their tools. Um, lots of amazing, intricate things to look at. These people were resilient. These people were so tied to the land. Then we move our way into the gold mining era when people came to find their riches in gold, which was a very interesting part of Alaskan history and brought a lot of people up looking for their little, you know, pocket of gold. Then we move through just the rich abundance of Alaska, the things that it provides, like the fish and the things that we get out of the ocean and off of the land. And this was pretty interactive for the kids to look at. And then lastly, it moves into more modern times with the Alaska pipeline. So lots of things to look at, lots of things to learn about the history of Alaska and how it has evolved over time. That was a nice trip to the museum. Some gorgeous flowers. What is We're gonna finish off our 
day together at the local burger joint called Arctic Roadrunner. Best burgers, local. If you want a good burger with really fun ambiance, that's Arctic Roadrunner. Locally owned, fun pictures all over the walls of the people throughout history of the state. And, uh, but you do have to pay in cash. Burgers, fries, really good milkshakes, and grilled cheeses. When I say this restaurant has the history of Alaska in it, it's the history of the everyday people that live here that have come and enjoyed burgers at Arctic Roadrunner. It's fishing stories, hunting stories. There is something to look at in every inch of this restaurant. So this restaurant is right along Campbell Creek, which runs through Anchorage. So on a nice day, right now it's kind of sprinkling and all the chairs are wet, but on a nice day, it's nice to sit out here and enjoy the water. Sometimes people will float by on inner tubes and things. Um, oh, they just called our order. Three? Yeah, she's making the steaks. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Bennett? you saw our cabin video, Mark is sitting with his sister that is visiting from England. He also has a sister that lives here in Anchorage. So we've got lots of cousins around. This was really just about spending time with family, having some good food, and enjoying some of Anchorage's favorite little spots. The museum, we actually bought a family pass to the museum so we can go back. This was just a fun day, just spending time with family in Anchorage. Even pictures on the ceiling. This place is a museum all in itself. <laughs> when we went to the little Anchorage Saturday market a few weeks ago, we got this Alaska salmon dip mix. So we're gonna make some with some smoked salmon from this year. It says to add mayonnaise, sour cream, and then some of this and our salmon. We usually just do cream cheese, so we're gonna try it, see what it tastes like. This has sun-dried tomatoes, garlic, onion, parsley, bell peppers, carrots, leeks, and spices. So we'll add that in, and it's from Alaska Spice Company. All right, this is much soupier than I'm norm used to. I feel like I should like add a second thing of salmon, but maybe the, that's just how it is as like a dip. And then you're supposed to refrigerate it for hours before you eat it, but. Can I try? I ate some. That's a good flavor. Can you try it? Now everyone wants to buy half of it too. Well, as you see here, everybody came up and was excited to try the salmon dip. It really was very tasty. Those spices added a lot of flavor to the salmon dip, and we ended up having it on crackers. We had it on bagels. This was kind of our little light dinner on a Sunday afternoon. We all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending time with us. We are so grateful for each and every one of you, and we'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life. It's said to refrigerate for four to six hours. The problem is there won't be any left to refrigerate. <laughs> we'll be sleeping. I know, we, we needed it for dinner.